What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the saga continues between undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, and currently the WBO welterweight world champion, Terrence Bud Crawford, and the longest reigning champion in the sport of boxing currently, featherweight WBC world champion, superstar boxer, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Obviously, we know Mr. Gary Russell Jr. was on Barbershop Conversations, in which he stated that he broke Terrence Crawford's jaw in the amateurs, right? After a sparring session that he didn't agree with Terrence Crawford, that Terrence Crawford was in the sparring session, and Terrence Crawford came up short in the sparring session. And so Terrence Crawford was frustrated, asked Gary Russell about the sparring session, what he thought about it. Gary Russell gave his opinion and said he thought he lost. He said Terrence Crawford got frustrated. Uh, you know, they started having a, a verbal altercation in which it resulted in him letting off one punch. He landed that one punch and broke Terrence Crawford's jaw, according to Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Now, you have uh, um, Terrence Crawford respond by saying, yes, he did, um, you know, hit me. You know, uh, he said, but I didn't fall. I wasn't budged. And I definitely didn't go to the hospital. I definitely didn't have my jaw broken. I got sent home. He says, but but that was due to the fact that they knew if I stayed there, I was going to get into an altercation with Gary Russell Jr. So he never broke my jaw. Then they both went on to say, you could ask Mark Two Sharp Davis what took place in the small session. Did I break his jaw? Did not? Didn't in the uh, in the case of Gary Russell and uh, Terrence Crawford said he ate the punch. He never was wobbled. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't staggered. And he definitely didn't go to the hospital. So we have Mark Two Short, Mark Two Sharp Davis response, and his response is he's somewhat siding with Terrence Crawford. He said that Terrence Crawford did not get his jaw broken. He said he ate the punch. Right? He says, um, you know, uh, he said, but regarding you know the the the, the situation in the, in the totality. He said that he hears that Gary Russell said he's going to jump up to 147 from 126, 21 pound jump, right? And uh, uh, um, challenge Terrence Crawford. Uh, he said that, you know, Gary Russell need not do that. He said, man, Terrence Crawford will wash you if you do that. He said, you got to fight Javante Tank Davis, and Terrence Crawford needs to fight Errol Spence. But let's just listen to what Mark Two Sharp Davis had to say regarding this situation. Let's just listen to how he put it. And how what he thought, the, uh, how everything played out in his, um, you know, in his experience with this entire situation. So let's just listen to what Mark Two Sharp Davis had to say. Everybody want me to tell a story what went on with uh, Terrence Crawford and Gary Russell. So I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this, right? Keep in mind, y'all, we we 18, 19 years old. We at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. You know what I'm saying? So we all, keep in mind, we all elite fighters, number one amateurs in the, you know, in the U in United States. So um, we we sparring, as you know, me and Gary sparring. I fought at this time. I was fighting 125 pounds. Gary Russell was fighting 119 pounds. Rashi Warren, he was fighting 112 pounds. So how they do it is that Rashi Warren had to spar with me and Gary Russell. He couldn't spar with the uh, 106 pound or the 112 pound. He had to spar with us because he did like that. So, of course, I had to spar with Gary. I spar with Gary Russell first. Then they'll take Gary Russell out and put Rashi in with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was the biggest. So, me and Gary got it on. You know what I'm saying? It was good sparring. You know, at, at that day, yes, I might have got on. I got out on Gary. You know what I'm saying? But he, he good work all the time, though. But I'm we was good fighters, man. I'm sharp. That was too sharp. I was sharp. Then Gary, my boy, my boy, and Terrence Crawford, my boy. So, Terrence getting the ring sparring with Dynamite. Terrence fight 
132. Diamond, Dynamite fight 141. Man, Dynamite, one of the sharpest amateurs I'd have ever seen, though. So, Dynamite, you know, he he's sharp that day. He getting out on, 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 on Terrence, you know what I'm saying? So, they still had good work, though. He, he got out on Terrence, but they still had great work. So, they get out the ring, and then, you know, Terrence a little... You know he a little he a little frustrated after the spar. You know what I'm saying. So they they got a little him and Dynamite was talking noise all through the spar. So when Terrence got out, he was a little he was mad already. He was talking ill. And then Gary said something to Terrence, and then Terrence was like, so then they get to arguing. They face to face. They get to arguing. Gary took off on on Terrence and hit him with a right. He hit him with a right hook. Terrence ain't the bitch. You feel me? Terrence ain't, he ain't dropped Terrence or nothing. And then they couldn't fight because right after Gary took off on him, the coaches and everybody grabbed Terrence and grabbed Gary. You know what I'm saying? But long story short. So there you have it. That was uh, Mark Too Sharp Davis's take on it. Uh, Gary Russell said he will give, uh, he wanted to Mark Too Sharp Davis to tell his side of what happened and so did Terrence Crawford. So that was Mark Two Sharp Davis' side of what took place in the sparring session. So, um, but uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, do you want to see Terrence Crawford and Gary Russell compete against one another? Is it too much of a weight difference? Uh, is it too much of an advantage for Terrence Crawford? Does Gary Russell Jr., Mr. Gary Russell Jr., have an opportunity to defeat and uh, defy the odds and beat Terrence Crawford? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.